and action. All right, so this is what we're trying to build, and this is, well, we've pretty much laid the parts out. We've gotten everything we've needed, and we will begin construction on this beast shortly. What do you need to, to, to do it with? Uh, just some energy drinks to get me through the night. <laughs> All right, here we go. Alright, so we're finished for today. We're going to regroup tomorrow and try to finish this sucker up. We finished the firing mechanism part, which is right here, which you see is this. We had we messed up a couple times, but we fixed it. Uh, we ran into some challenges, but we passed through them. The string right here and here will go through these holes, and that will be holding the tension for the arrow. And this will be the arrow, of course. The, uh, the bows will come out here. We're going to have to cut a little saw piece here, as well as here. Um, we got a boat trailer wrench thing to be able to pull back the high mass tension that's required. So it should be cool. We'll see if we can finish this up tomorrow. Alright, so what we're doing now, on day two of our project, we're screwing these metal things in to reduce drag on the rope that will shoot the arrow forward. Go. Alright, so we just finished building the mechanism to build the tension to fire the actual bolt itself. What we'll end up doing is taking the arm, which is one of these, we'll end up sticking it right through the middle of this, except it'll be over here. We'll stick it right through the middle of this, over here. We'll end up taking this part out and swinging this around like a lever to build up more tension in this rope that's already extremely tight and extremely dangerous. Alright, so we got the arm through this part. It has a good amount of tension, but not enough to actually sling a bolt as far as we want it to. So what we're going to end up having to do is take a PVC pipe almost and put it right through here to allow this to slide out just so we can put this thing in so, it ha so we can twist it around more. And then we'll, trade, we'll take this out and put, plug this right through the PVC pipe and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Show them how it works. So it pulls back. With that thing, it'll have to be able to pull back all the way, and then just slings right forward. Awesome. We made the cut right here and here to catch this as it's firing, and it's really hard to twist. We've twisted it, we've added a couple blocks in to hold this in place, but the problem is it's not twisted enough. I mean, it's barely even strong at all. I mean, we pull it back here, and we release it, and it barely does anything. It hurts pretty bad when it just hit me. <laughs> so we're going to have to increase the tension, right? Yeah. We're okay. Much have to do that. Cool. All right. So we got the arms attached. Uh, the problem we dealt with it. We ended up having to move this uh, from here to here to add an extra half a twist, and that definitely helped. It brought a ton of tension in, made it a lot stronger. Um, we just hope that. That won't bring, put too much pressure on this board right here and make it snap. I doubt it will. Our next step is to string the string right here to the arms. And then we should be almost ready for a test fire after we get the crank ready. Cool. Alright, so we finished the main part of the ballista. I'm really excited, really pumped up about it. We got this part going, we got that part going. We what we've done since the last video is we've attached the crank and the release mechanism. What will end up happening is we crank this back like this, and this will slowly pull this back since it's way too heavy for our hands to uh, pull it back. We'll eventually, this part right here, will go right into here. We'll have a string attached right there, pull it, and it'll go flying out. And this is the ballista. All right, ready to build the stand. Yep, and we're about to build the stand. 
All right, so now that we've finished building the ballista, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, lock and load this thing. First, you take the clip and place it on the rope like so. Then you come back here and you start to crank it. All right, so after we've got it locked inside this bolt right here, we then release it. We release the, um, the string right here. In order to give this the extra slack. Then we pull it out here and take it off like so, so we don't get our fingers knocked off. Then all we have left to do is place the bolt into place. Alright, so now that the bolt's in place, all we have to do to release this is to pull this string back and it will fire the bolt along a little cut edge that we placed to make it more accurate. So let's fire this thing, shall we? Alright, firing five, four, three, two, and one, firing. <laughs> Hit the tree. That's awesome. And that's our ballista. It worked. Alright, so we're going to take this hinge and place it on the rope like so. And we're going to crank these back. we got to do it pretty fast. Alright, so in order to get this little metal hinge off of this rope part, we gotta release it a little. Alright. Give it a lot of slack. Put it back. Pull it out to here so you don't get your hand ripped off by this thing. Put it to the side. Load the bolt in. Ready to fire. All right, we're going to load the bolt in a second. All right, so we put it at more of an angle this time so it would be able to shoot farther because we noticed it was going downhill pretty fast. So we'll fire, test fire number three, two, one. Wow. Oh my guy shot it. He shot it into the pond. <laughs> oh my god.